Hello, my name is Gary and I want to thank you for watching this video. Today, I've got a very, very lovely four bedroom, two bathroom home with a flatlet, big carport area on a panhandle in Walter Avenue, big swimming pool, very neat English country garden, very nice place. Let me show you. So, you can see manicured lawn. It's a fully fenced off swimming pool. You can see the big palm trees all around the pool. It's got a solar geyser on the roof. And yeah, you've got a a bry area, built-in bry under a lapa. Nice view over the garden from here. This is your front door. The trilly door on your front door. And as you come in through the front door, there's a reception room on the right hand side. It's also got trellis doors here, ceiling fan, tiled floor, and this goes back out to the lower part. In your next living room, open plan to your kitchen. Also got a trellis door, also got a sliding door going outside. Nice and cool, beautiful chandelier. It's got a granite breakfast nook and if we go through into the kitchen you'll see it's fully tiled with a slate, a slate tile. It's got a place for a double door fridge. It's got a work island with gas and electricity hob. Solid wooden cupboards. It's got a big pantry cupboard in the corner. It's got a, micro, a microwave shelf. It's got display cabinets and uh, you've got a separate little scullery area just here and your kitchen door going out to your backyard. Then let me show you the dining room, it's just off the kitchen here. Very nice little dining room area. And there on the right hand side of the door to the kitchen and then just past that is an archway or a hallway going back to the front door and then you've got a little study nook or study area which is open plan study um, ideal for computers or whatever and now I want to go and take you down into the bedroom areas so all your bedrooms are beyond this door, which you can lock, as opposed to a safety gate. Also for your guests, your toilet is just down. First door on the right hand side, they don't have to walk through the whole house to get to the toilet. And you've got a shower, and a bath, and a basin, as you for your second bathroom. First bedroom, north facing. Ceiling fan, cupboards in on the right, tiled floor, double bed fits in easily, so it's got a lot of space. Second bedroom, looks like a mirror of the first, also an all facing, ceiling fan, tiled floors. And across the passage, our third bedroom. And then your main bedroom, in the bottom end of the passage here. This one's got a carpeted floor. So you can see, it's also north facing. It's 
got an outside door which leads to a little outside patio with a screened wall for a nice private little cup of coffee ceiling fan as well and then you've got your walk-in cupboard area here and shower on the left bath, toilet and his and hers basins now what's nice about this place is you've got this room which I think might have been a double garage I'm not a hundred percent sure but it's used as a flatlet um, and it's been used as a flatlet for quite a while it's just got no bath it's only got a it's only got a toilet and a basin which um, has only got one tap only cold water in other words and those two windows on that side look like they could have been garage windows Ach, garage doors I mean and um, but it's neatly tiled it's got a big air conditioner over here and uh, it's got its own entrance so if anybody did stay in this area it would be very easy to build in a shower and they've also got their own patio which can be entertainment area or it can be um, car park uh, it's a Louvre, a Louvre deck or a Louvre carport. As I mentioned to you earlier, it is a panhandle. So, if you look up the faster cars there, you'll see the street right up on the top. It's got a gate in the front. It's got a gate on this side of the, of the property as well. You can see the garden is neatly done at the, with the pool fenced off on that side. And then that's that area where we've just been. And then you've got this carport here, which is massive. And it's partitioned off for you to um, have a storage area. So you could easily park in a very, very big car. And if you used it right up to the end, which they're using for storage is you put in two cars behind each other so it's four car carport and then you've got your backyard Now that you've had a chance to see this lovely property, why don't you give me a ring and I'll show you in real life.